Let's talk about exams. Welcome back to the IMG Couple channel. As most of you may know, almost every medical school is accredited by certain accreditation agency. As of now, ECFMG recognizes most of these agencies that accredit medical schools. However, ECFMG came out with information that from 2024, they will only recognize certain or specific accredited agencies. That means if your school is recognized by an agency that is not recognized by ECFMG, you may not be eligible to take the USMLE exams or get ECFMG certification to have your residency in US. Today, I'm going to show you how to know the agency that has accredited your school and also if that agency is recognized by ECFMG. If you are new here, can you do what to subscribe for us? We interview doctors who have experience in the board exams of any country to share their preparation experience with us and with anyone preparing for their board exams. Also, since my wife and I are on the USMLE journey, we tend to share more information about the USMLE process. We also share um, US clinical experience opportunities that are available for IMGs to utilize. We also talk about job opportunities that are available for IMGs in US to utilize. We usually post such job opportunities in the community tab on this channel and so you have to be checking it often to see if we have posted any job opportunity here. You can also follow us on IG where we also post such opportunities for IMGs to utilize. So first of all you go to Google and just enter World Federation of Medical Education. So what Federation of Medical Education. So this is where you want to go to. You can also directly enter WFME.org here. So this is the page that you need to go first if you want to know if you will be eligible to take USMLE exams after 2024 or from 2024. Now this WFME is the agency that need to recognize the agency that has accredited your medical school so if an agency has accredited your medical school and that agency is not recognized by wfme you may not be eligible to take the usml exams from 2024 or after 2024 so let's see the agencies that are recognized by this wfme and if your school is recognized by any of those agencies so on this page you go to recognition then you go to countries served by agencies with recognition status now the countries in blue colors are countries that have agencies that are accredited by wfme countries in the light blue colors are countries that have agencies that have applied to WFME for accreditation or recognition. So the application is in progress. Now let's look at the list of countries that have uh, that are recognized by WFME or have initiated the recognition process. So you go to list of agencies with recognition status or applying. So here you have the option to either download and get all the names of the agencies or we can just go to list of agencies and just see the list so that is what i'm going to now so that we can just see the list of those agencies so these are the agencies that are recognized by wfme and these are the countries that these agencies recognize their medical schools so for instance if you are in canada or you attended a medical school in canada or you are in a medical school in Canada. There is an agency in Canada called Committee on Accreditation of Canadian Medical Schools. Now, if your medical school in Canada is not recognized by this agency, then from 2024, you may not be able to take the USMLE exams or get ECFMB certification. 
because this is the only agency that is recognized by WFME. So if you're in Canada, your medical school should be recognized by this agency. This agency's accreditation with WFME will also expire in April 2024. So this agency needs to also work with WFME to renew the accreditation. Otherwise, after 20, April 2024, this agency will also not be recognized by WFME. Now you can see that there are some agencies that are currently applying for recognition. For instance, Germany and Australia, the agency there, which is accreditation agency in health and social sciences, have put in the application to be eligible for WFME recognition, same as um, Italy, Czech Republic, India, Pakistan, Philippines, Sri Lanka. So they are countries whose agencies are now working with WFME to get recognition, but the application is not uh, has not yet been accepted. It is still in the process. So let me use myself as an example. So I attended school in China. So let's see the agency that recognizes medical schools in China. So this is China. And in China, there's an agency called Working Committee for the Accreditation of Medical Education, Ministry of Education, WCAME. So this agency is recognized by WFME. Now, if you are in China, and your medical school is not recognized by this agency, then from 2024, you will have issue with your eligibility to take the USMLE exams. Now, how do you know that if your school, for instance, if your school in China is recognized by this agency? So let me go to the website of this agency to see if this agency recognizes my school. So this is the website of the agency. Since it's China, it will be in Chinese, so we can change it to English. So that, okay. Now this is the website of the agency that is recognized by WFME to recognize medical schools in China. So let me see if this agency recognizes my school. So certification here. Uh, so here it says professional accreditation of clinical medicine in colleges and universities. So let's go here. Now these are the colleges or universities that are recognized by this agency. So if you are if you attended school in China and your medical school is not recognized by this agency, then indirectly you are not recognized by wfme which means you may not be eligible to take usmle after 2024 so let's see if i'll find my school in this list hainan medical university so we are going to h okay so hainan medical university uh, okay so hainan medical university so my school is recognized by wfme and their recognition will end in December 2024. So in December 2024, my school has to work with this W this um, agency to renew the accreditation. Okay. So basically, as I mentioned earlier on, you go to the website and you check if you check the country where your medical school is and you go to the agency's website, the agency that accredits um, medical schools in your country. You go to their website and you check if your school is on their list. If your school is not on their list, there are two things. Either you eventually stop the dream of practicing in the US or help your school to get the registration. So for instance, if um, my school, for instance, if my school is not recognized by, um, okay, let, let me go back to my school, which is in China. So if my school, for instance, is not recognized by this agency, 
the, on their on the website of the agency they have given steps for the school to apply for certification so you can also go to the agency you are in your country or where your medical school is the website of that agency will have procedures of which your school can apply for certification so this is the steps for schools in china to apply for this agency to recognize them and if so this is one way another way too is if your school is recognized by an agency that is not listed or recognized by wfme on the wfme website you can add uh, that agency can also apply for recognition so that agency can also apply for recognition by wfme so for instance the agency in china there may be another agency in china that also has accredited certain medical schools so that agency can also reach out to wfme and apply for recognition and if the application is accepted then the schools that that agency has also accredited will be recognized by wfme and that school will be eligible to take the usmle exams even after 2024. back to the ecfmg page where the announcement was made ecfmg stated that due to covid 19 though this policy will start in 2024 it will not impede an individual's eligibility for ECFMG certification. However, this is something temporary. So if you haven't taken your USMLE exams yet, or you are not ECFMG certified yet, it is better to follow up to make sure that your school is well recognized or well certified before ECFMG fully enrolls this new policy. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, kindly leave it in the question box and I will be there to answer every question. Thank you and please don't forget to subscribe.